This short video provides an introduction to the Factair BA800D breathing air system. With carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide suppression, its operating instructions and key safety features. This video should form the foundation for more detailed training specific to your particular application. Further information is also available in the operating and maintenance manual. It is important that decisions regarding selection and use of respiratory protective devices are made by a competent person. The BA800D is a mobile breathing air compressor designed for providing an airline source of breathing air to up to four users, depending on the type of respiratory protective device being worn. Utilising a sophisticated fuel-efficient variable speed engine drive system that runs at the optimum speed to match the breathing air demand, the BA800D will produce up to 800 litres per minute at 8 bar. Key features of the design include a sand trap louver to enable it to be used in dusty environments and a high specification cooling system so it can operate in ambient temperatures up to 50 degrees centigrade. Also integral to the unit is a fail-safe emergency reserve air supply system. The BA800D weighs less than 750 kilograms and is fitted with a 50 mm ball coupling and braking system for highway towing. A central lifting point is also provided for craneage purposes. The BA800D is fitted with a variety of safety devices. These include a Chalwin overspeed valve. This shuts off air to the engine should combustible gases be ingested, causing the engine to run at excessive speeds, and a spark arrester which forms an integral part of the exhaust system. There are various audible and visual warning devices incorporated within the compressor. These monitor the high pressure and the low pressure systems, automatically activating in the event of a fault. A microprocessor records all the alarm events. If the unit has failed in service or refuses to start, it is possible to download and review the error log to establish the reason for the problem. Further details on this process are available from your supplier. The diesel engine seen here provides the power to drive the compressor. This is an oil-cooled rotary vane compressor with an outlet pressure up to 10 bar. At 9 bar, the total output capacity is 800 litres per minute. When air is compressed, it heats up, so the air is first fed from the compressor to an aftercooler that removes the heat from the air. The air is then passed through a series of filters and a pressure swing dryer. These are vital to ensure that the wearer receives high-quality air at all times. The first filter removes bulk condensate from the air. This is discharged into the engine exhaust system to minimise the amount that needs to be collected. The second and third filters, called the fine particle and coalescing filters, also remove condensate and any oil residues that may be present at this point. These are collected in a small holding reservoir for safe disposal. The air is then delivered to a pressure swing dryer, incorporating a desiccant media capable of both drying the air to a pressure dew point of minus 40 degrees centigrade and significantly reducing the levels of carbon dioxide. The dried air is now passed through a Hopkalite catalyst filter, which oxidizes excess levels of carbon monoxide back to safe levels of carbon dioxide. The final activated carbon filter removes odours so that high-quality air, well in excess of the requirements of EN12021, is then fed to the wearer. The BA800D has two distinct outlet mode options to suit either constant flow or positive pressure respiratory protective devices. These models are controlled by a lockable ball valve. For positive pressure devices, the maximum flow rate can be controlled to permit only a quarter of the total flow rate to each outlet. In the event of any one device going to open circuit, this safeguards the flow to the other users. For constant flow devices, the outlet flow is unrestricted, so that all of the available air can be drawn from any one of the outlet connections. The constant flow pressure regulator needs to also be set depending on the type of breathing air device you are using. For positive pressure devices, it needs to be set at 8 bar. 
For constant flow devices, it should be set in accordance with the manufacturer's recommendation. The quality of the air supplied is established by using a safe air tester, such as the one shown here. Each time you move the compressor to a new location, you may have to carry out an air quality check. If you are using the equipment in the same location, an air quality test should be carried out according to your own risk assessment, but no less than once every three months. Setting up the compressor for safe operation requires care and you should make several checks and observations before use. Sighting is important. The compressor should be set on a hard level surface so you can move and rotate the unit easily to take account of the wind direction. Ideally, the unit should be positioned away from buildings. The compressor is supplied with a high-level air intake, which is vital in preventing airborne contamination from being ingested into the compressor and passed to the users. The wind direction indicator is used to ensure the exhaust from the compressor's engine is downwind of the snorkel. The tow bar should be pointed downwind. Then you should also check for other sources of toxic fumes upwind of the unit. These include vehicle exhausts, flues, extractor fans, oil interceptors, anything that might contaminate the air. Before using the BA800D, you need to complete a series of pre-start checks. Raise the right-hand side canopy and check the compressor oil level is above the sight glass. Dispose of any collected condensate. This should be disposed of in an environmentally friendly manner, as it is oil-contaminated waste. Raise the left-hand canopy. Check the fuel level and refill as necessary. The unit will not start if the fuel level is below the minimum setting. A yellow lamp on the engine panel indicates low fuel level. The alarm will sound, but the engine will not stop until all fuel is used at least 15 minutes later. Close the side canopies and open the cylinder access door. To maintain the efficient cooling system, the compressor should be run with the canopies closed. Now open the cylinder access door for the emergency reserve. The HP cylinders are in two banks, each comprising two 9-litre 200 or 300 bar cylinders. Open all HP cylinder valves by turning valves anti-clockwise to fully open and then back half a turn. Check that the reserve cylinder pressure shown on both high pressure banks is above 135 bar on the panel gauges. Ensure emergency stop button is released. Turn the start switch to position 1, key vertical, and the start sequence begins. This is automatic and begins by testing the high pressure system to check that reserve pressure is adequate in both pairs of cylinders and that the cylinder valves are open. While this is happening, the two red LEDs will flash and audible alarms will sound. If this test finds that it is satisfactory, the LEDs will go out and the engine preheater will be energised. After a few seconds, the audible alarm tone will change and the engine can now be cranked. To do this, turn the start switch to position 2 and hold it for 10 seconds, or until the engine starts. Don't try to crank the engine until the alarm sound changes or the whole process will need to be repeated. The engine will start and run up to full revs, but no pressure will be produced until the engine is warm. The compressor will then load up, the status indicator will go from red to green, and the audible alarm will be silenced. If the engine is already hot, pressing the function button will load the compressor immediately. If either bank of high-pressure cylinders is at too low a pressure or is turned off, 
an alarm will sound and a red LED will show above the affected cylinder bank gauge. To proceed, replace the cylinders or open the valves as appropriate and press the function button and the process will begin again. Connect all required breathing air hoses. The BA800D is now ready for use. A qualified attendant should be in charge of the equipment during operation and ensure that it is operated only and strictly in accordance with the instructions provided. The attendant should check that all hoses are laid out without kinks or tangles, are safe from interference or damage and that orifices of all couplings are clear of dirt. If the unit switches over to cylinder supply, the attendant should immediately instruct the operatives to leave the hazardous area. Before you commence the shutdown procedure, it is imperative you ensure the machine is not supporting life. Once this is established, open the cylinder access door and turn off all the cylinder valves. Turn the start switch to position zero. Do not use the emergency stop button except in an emergency. The compressor will begin a stop sequence lasting 10 to 15 seconds and at the same time the reserve air supply will be retested. If the cylinders are turned off, the compressor will stop and the alarms will cease. If the cylinders have not been turned off, the alarms will continue until the cylinders are turned off and retested. To begin the retest, press the function button. If cylinder pressures are below 135 bar, they must be refilled or replaced before subsequent use. Once the engine has stopped, two indicator LEDs next to the function button will continue to be lit for five minutes. This is normal. Warnings are given by two combined siren and flashing lamp units. If the primary compressor pressure drops to 7.5 bar, the sirens sound and air from the high-pressure cylinders automatically becomes available to supplement or replace the compressor supply. If the cylinder pressure drops below 135 bar while the unit is in operation, a siren sounds to warn that the reserve supply is in its minimum safe condition. The compressor will continue to run, but the hazardous area should be evacuated. When the unit is shut down, the cylinders should then be exchanged for full ones and the reason for the loss of reserve pressure found and rectified. If the primary air supply is restored, the system reverts to normal mode and cylinder supply ceases. However, if cylinder pressure has by then dropped below 135 bar, the siren continues to warn of low emergency supply. The red warning lamp will flash and the alarm sound if high compressor oil temperature is detected, if the battery charge system fails or the emergency stop button is pressed, the primary supply will fail and the reserve automatically brought online. The system will also detect a low fuel level and an audible warning given. The low fuel LED will be lit on the instrument panel. Hose management is possibly the most difficult part of the system, therefore careful planning is of the utmost importance. As a general rule, the less hose you've laid out, the better. If you need to run hose out across a road, they must be protected by either steel tubes or properly constructed ramps. Anti-static PVC or rubber with CEJN342 connections are available. These can be connected directly to the breathing air compressor. Alternatively, where you need to deploy the BA800D a distance away from the worksite, the F2025 4 outlet flow distribution cabinet is available. This can be connected via a half or three quarter inch hose to the unregulated outlet and allows the total flow from the unit to be supplied through a single larger airline to your worksite. In the event of the BA800D switching over to its emergency reserve, the pneumatically controlled F2025 will automatically detect the changeover and sound a local alarm to warn users to withdraw to a place of safety. We hope that now we've shown you the safety features of the FACT Air system, you will share our confidence that this equipment can form the basis of a safe system of work. 
If you have any questions, contact Factair for more information and details of your local distributor or visit our website. Thank you for watching.